Good morning everyone. Now I am going to discuss a topic on orthogonal system. This orthogonal system can be discussed in a function of the complex variable. Orthogonal means we know that the two curves or two families are perpendicular. That is one to another their slopes product must be equal to minus one. Then two families are said to be orthogonal families. Okay. Here the orthogonal system means two families are orthogonal condition can be satisfied in the function of the complex variable. In general the function of the complex variable the f of z can be defined or expressed as f of z is equal to u plus i v where u is equal to u of x comma y is a real part of real part of z let it be c1 curve 1 curve and v is equal to v of x comma y is a is an imaginary part of is an imaginary part of z is equal to c2 imaginary part of f of z real part of f of z so Okay, here u equal to u of x comma y is a real part of f of z. Let it be c1 constant that is a one family curve. Okay, the another one is here c1 and c2 both are constants. In that function of the complex variables, the real part family is a one family. Imaginary part of f of z is the another family. These two families slopes must be slopes of the product of these two families if it is minus one then these two families means the slopes are called as the tangents both tangents are one to other perpendicular if u and v both are families here u and v are family curves families curve families forms an orthogonal forms an orthogonal that is nothing but the slope of u family any point is perpendicular to slope of V family at the same point that is nothing but Slopes are denoted by slope of u at point at a point is equal to tangent curve which is equal to m1 and the slope of v at a point equal to tangent curve which is equal to M2. We can show that the product of M1, M2 is equal to minus 1. Then these two curves are forms orthogonal. Then the two families having a one system that is the function of the complex variable which is called as orthogonal system. Then that is a orthogonal function. Okay. Now I am taking one problem and discuss about the orthogonal. Okay. If f of z is equal to if 
f of z equal to u plus i v, it is equal to 1 by z. Show that the curves u of x comma y equal to c1 and v of x comma y equal to c2 intersect orthogonally intersect orthogonally okay here the given function is the given function is f of z equal to u plus i v that is equal to 1 by z. Here f of z is equal to 1 by x plus i y. Now we can rationalize x minus i y multiply and divide. Then this is equal to x minus i y by x square plus y square since i square is equal to minus 1 x square minus i square y square minus i square is equal to plus 1 which is x square plus y square. Here f of z is equal to write separately the denominator terms x by x square plus y square i minus y plus i into minus y by x square plus y square which is equal to in the form of u plus iv. Here, u equal to x by x square plus y square in the given problem that u of x is equal to that implies x by x square plus y square is equal to c1. Let it be equation 1. And v equal to minus y by x square plus y square from the given condition of the problem minus y by x square plus y square is equal to c2. These two are families with constants. Thus c1 and c2 both are constants. Arbitrary constants means we can change the values of those arbitrary constants. We get the family of curves. Now Equation 1 is differentiating with respect to x. Then the form of d by dx of u by v equal to v du by dx minus u dv by dx by v squared. By using this formula then equation 1 is differentiating means the constant is 0 here x square plus y square into x derivative is 1 minus x into x square derivative is 2x y square derivative is 2y dy by dx by v square means x square plus y square whole square it is equal to 0. From this x square plus y square minus x into 2x minus 2x square minus 2xy dy by dx is equal to 0. This y square or these two terms take or simplify minus x square plus y square is equal to 2xy dy by dx. This is taking to right side. Then dy by dx is equal to minus of x square minus y square by 2xy. We can take slope at origin at origin x naught comma 
y not it is equal to m1 that is equal to dy by dx at origin is equal to m1 equal to minus of x naught square minus y naught square by 2x naught y naught. Okay. Next we can find out equation 2 derivative with respect to x. <coughs> Equation 2 is differentiating with respect to x. Here, x square plus y square into y derivative is 0 minus, minus y into 2x derivative is, sorry, here y derivative is dy by dx. So not partial, it's ordinary. x square plus y square into minus dy by dx minus of minus y into x square derivative 2x plus 2y dy by dx by x square plus y square whole square it will be 0. Then x square plus y square dy by dx is taking outside here minus dy by dx x square plus y square this minus is taking outside it is minus 2xy minus 2y square is equal to 0 is equal to 2xy has no derivative x square plus y square minus into minus plus y into 2y that is minus 2y square into dy by dx negative of dy by dx plus 2xy is equal to 0. Here minus y square plus x square into minus dy by dx equal to minus 2xy. This minus, this minus get cancelled. From this dy by dx equal to 2xy by x square minus y square. We can find out slope at origin is equal to tangent that is m2 dy by dx at x naught comma y naught is equal to 2 x naught y naught by x naught square minus y naught square. Here product of m1 dot m2. m1 is minus of x naught square minus y naught square by 2 x naught y naught into 2 x naught y naught by x naught square minus y naught square. 2x naught y naught, 2x naught y naught. Here x naught square minus y naught square. Both will get cancelled. It is equal to minus 1. Therefore, the slopes are orthogonal. So, perpendicular to each other. So, the tangents of the families are perpendicular to each other. Therefore, therefore, U and V are 
आठ तो हो गए ना यू एंड बी आर आठ तो हो गए ना फर्स्ट हियर एफ ऑफ जेड इज इक्वल टू u plus i v here u of x comma y is equal to c one that is a one family v of x comma y equal to c two that is another family we can find out the tangents to that families means that is nothing but we can find out the slope of any point or slope of origin at Particular family u of x comma y. Slope means we know that dy by dx is equal to m. In that case, we can derivative pa ordinary derivative with respect to x. So we can derivative with respect to x of u function and v function. In that we can take both slopes at origin. One slope is m one, another slope is m two. Another slope is m two. This is equal to m two. Then find out the product between m one and m two. M two. Then the product is must be not equal to minus one. Then two slopes means two tangents of the families are perpendicular to each other. If the tangents are perpendicular or slopes are perpendicular means the system is orthogonal system. Okay, it is the very very important. If you like this video, please subscribe my channel and share to your friends.